Um, I want to talk to Piana. How about this ribbon, Piana? It's cute. Let me try it. Sure thing. Wow, it looks great. How about this one? It's Tochiri's best dress. Sexy? What? I'm kind of busy, so can you bother me later? You're not busy at all! I gotta talk to her about serious stuff. Oh, just a little longer, okay? Besides, it's your fault because you don't let me dress you up anymore. My fault? Don't you have a job? Gerard is waiting for you! Whoops, I forgot! Wait, but... Hmm. I have to go out for a bit, Piana. Can we play some more later? Sure! Thank you. I'll be right back. Tochiri, you better not take Piana anywhere. I know! Just go! Uh, okay. I'll see you later. Bye-bye! I wonder if she's been lonely. I am out of the house a lot. What did you want to talk about? Oh, sorry. Well... Does Pilka know you're with me? Nope, I came as a surprise. I knew it. Pilka and the villagers are definitely worried. You should go back and get permission before you... No, I'm not going back! you want to? Did you get into an argument with Milka? Nope. I just don't want to go back. Why? If I stay at that village, I'll get gobbled up. Well, if you put it that way... I'm home. That was fast. You came back already? What about your job? He doesn't have customers anyway. It's not a big deal if I take a day off. Gerard said it's okay. I bet you sounded really pushy and he reluctantly said okay. Come on, Piana. We get to play all day today. Really? Yay! Oh. I guess this would take Piana off my hands. Anyway, Setsy, you're still here? Go adventuring or something, Tulchari. She's being a real meanie to me. Anyway, will you watch Piana for me? I don't mind. I actually welcome it. I figured. I'm going to the village to let them know Piana's safe. You should. I bet they're so worried because such an adorable villager just up and disappeared. I'm not going back! I know. I won't take you back. Can you watch over her for a bit? Leave it to me. What do we play, Piana? Well, um... I'm not sure how I feel about this, but... Oh, well. I gotta go to Pilka's village.
it's Dad. And Mark? That's a rare combination. I wonder what they're talking about. How about it? I think it's possible it shouldn't take much effort. Hmm. You're right. It's worth a shot. Hi, Dad. What are you talking about with Mark? Hello, Missy. You always come at just the right time. Huh? What do you mean? Don't sweat the small stuff. Bring me these materials. These materials? Um, this situation feels really familiar. Would you do it? For me. You know I'm terrible at gathering materials. If you say so, Dad. I have a weird feeling about this. It's time to get some work done. All right, let's do this. He's acting different again. Will this really turn out okay? Don't talk to me when I'm working. How many times must I tell you? Oh! But, but I just want to know. This is no place for women or children. We'll take it from here. Wonderful work. The work of a master craftsman is always a sight to behold. No, no, I only did as you directed. I think that was a job well done. Oh, Dad's back to normal. So, are you done? Yes. With these modifications, you should be able to travel nearly twice as fast as before. Twice? That doesn't mean it'll go too fast to stop, right? It won't randomly explode, right? <laughs> Don't worry about all that. I wouldn't do anything silly to put my own daughter in danger. Well, right. You were working on it, too. Oh, do you see the speedometer here? Yeah. The fastest part is marked red. Good thing you noticed that. Be sure to never hit the red zone while you're steering the ship. What happens when I do? Well, you know, Mark. Well, of course I do. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm up for a drink. You? Gladly. There are plenty of things I still want to discuss with you. Let's imbibe. I'll be extra sure I don't go anywhere near the red zone.
kiddo. What do you need today? Kiddo, what happened? You look dazed. Oh, I'm sorry. I've always thought you two seemed so similar. Us two? Similar? What's this about? Your voice. It's very similar to a person called Gerard in my village. But you two talk completely different. Our voices are similar? <laughs> then he must be one handsome man, that Gerard! Yes, he is very handsome. A very mature gentleman, actually. What? Really now? Hmm. What's this guy's job? He's the bartender of a tavern. I see. A bartender. Wait, a bartender? That's the third most coveted job of all men in their 40s. Oh, really? Then what's first and second? He has my voice is good-looking, and is also a bartender. That's not fair at all. But why are you yelling at me? Shut up, you. Bring him here right now. I'll chastise him real good. You're being unreasonable. Then why don't I go to your village? Take me to him right now. But that's just... I should have kept my mouth shut. Gerard to have customers. Welcome! All my weapons are first rate! Welcome. Come right this way. The counter is open. Something's not quite right. Let's try saying something cooler. Very well. Idiot! You don't forge a sword with a hammer. You forge it with your soul. Enjoy. This martini is on the house. What are you two doing? And why is Hago here? Hey, kiddo! Remember how you said there's a guy who sounds like me? I wondered about it, and came all the way out here. I was surprised to hear how similar we really sound. But something doesn't add up. That's why we are comparing lines used in different situations. Sorry, even if you explain it that way, I have no idea what you're talking about. It got me thinking. You keep choosing really calm, straight-laced lines. Don't you have anything to raise your voice and shout about? Shouting? I didn't think of that. 
What should I try shouting? It'll be dumb if we say our own names. Hmm. Try shouting mine, like, I killed your folks in cold blood. All right, I'll try. I'll start. Gerard! Hegel! Too weak. One more time. Gerard! Hegel! Ah, there it is! A perfect match! We do have the same voice. No, more than that. I heard my own voice coming from your mouth. Ha <laughs> ha! We did it, brother! We should drink. A toast to celebrate. I just witnessed something really weird and really amazing. I should go home and sleep. I need to do my best to erase this from memory. Hi, Gerard. Hmm? No, oh, it's you, Totori. You don't look very happy. I have a feeling why. There are no customers. Sorry. After all you went through to make me the best alcohol ever, I still let this happen. It's my fault. It's not. I think it has more to do with the actual drinks I made than anything else. This opened up my eyes. Your alcohol was the best thing possible. It just didn't have a viable business model. I thought as much. Maybe it would be better to have something more normal. I'll go make it right now. The people of this village eat fish on a daily basis, which tells me regular fish won't appeal to them. Yes, you're right. Wait, isn't this going off in a weird direction? Ordinary fish can't satisfy these people. I need to make a drink out of... a fish of legendary proportions. Well, wait. I think it's better if you get away from fish brew in the first place. Around these waters, the legendary guardian lurks somewhere. When I was a child... I sense a flashback coming. Back in the day, there were very few people in the village, which made my childhood boring. But then, I heard the grown-ups discussing this guardian. I had to go right away. I got a friend with deft fingers to make me a fishing rod. I quickly set out to sea. I think this might take a while. It was a new moon that night. The oceans were pitch black, and I let my fishing line drift for hours. I wondered if I could really catch it. I thought to myself, maybe such a creature's existence is a rumor. Then, my fishing rod suddenly bent. Uh, I'm getting sleepy. Power more immense than anything I'd ever felt overtook me. But my friend's fishing rod was still intact. I can't let it break me first. It took hours, but I drew in the line, little by little. Finally, when I saw its giant shadow beneath the surface, I knew victory was mine. But... You scared me. That woke me right up. I was mistaken. I didn't reel it in. It came closer to me of its own accord. It was after my ship. By the time I realized that, it was too late. The boat was smashed to pieces. The despair I felt was unimaginable. I cursed my opponent's might and felt utterly powerless. It's not over yet. 
I didn't have time to be depressed. The most fearful thing of all was... Gerard! C can you stop there? Don't interrupt. This is where it gets good. Um, well... After hearing your story, I want to go out and fish it myself. Could you please tell me where it is? Um, in simple terms, please? Oh, did I awaken your inner fisherman? Very well. I'll tell you the rest of the story when you catch it. I'm not sure I want to now. You'll need six things to catch the Guardian. The right ship, rod, time, place, bait, and strength. You already have a ship and rod. You'll need to go to a certain place on the last day of the month. Uh-huh. Wait, I don't have a fishing rod. Yes, you do. Gweed uses it all the time. Take that one. That? So the friend with deft fingers was Dad. Now, about the bait. Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't really remember. I think I brought some kind of fruit. I don't remember what exactly. Fruit? I guess I should just try everything. Lastly, do you know anyone strong? Um, can't you do it, Gerard? I'd have happily obliged 20 years ago. There's no way I can do it now. Oh, so I need someone else. You might not have it all. But if you can get all of the conditions right, I think luck will be on your side. I believe in you. You should be able to catch the Guardian. I thought I was gonna make alcohol. How did it end up like this? Hi, Totori. Did you want something? I have a favor I want to ask. Can you let me borrow your fishing rod? This? I don't mind, but I'm shocked. I never thought you'd want to fish. I really don't want to, but Gerard... Wait, if I talk too much, Dad might have a flashback like Gerard. What's up? Cat got your tongue? Thank you, Dad. I'll give it back when I'm done. She's hiding something. I heard her mention Gerard. Maybe I should go ask him about it later.
welcome back! Kiana, don't move. I'm still changing your hairstyle. Totori, it's all your fault for coming back when it was getting good. Wait, it's my fault? You haven't been nice to me ever since Piana's come here. I was playing with Chechi all day. She dressed me up in lots of outfits. That's great, but be careful. She's usually nice, but make her mad and she's very scary. Don't put weird ideas into her head. Kiana likes you more anyway. It's completely unfair. How did this become about fairness? Come on, Piana. Let's continue. I'll bake you my best pie later. Yay! Chechi's pie! It feels like my sister was stolen from me. I guess it's okay if Tetsi's happy. Tochiri, if you're done working, can you go and prepare dinner? I'll make Piana share. Just make enough for Dad. I don't like this at all. to become such a good adventurer. But you are Rorona's student. Oh, no, no. That's rude of me to say. You did it all by yourself. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. But this isn't the end. I bet there are places you haven't gone or monsters you haven't fought. I guess so. I think there are materials I haven't found and items I haven't made yet either. When you discover those things, I'll give you points. So try to stop by once in a while. Sure, I definitely will. How is it? 
Nothing. I do feel a presence, though. Really? What kind of presence? Keep quiet. It'll notice us. Oh, sorry. I made light of this fishing thing, but it's fairly interesting and similar to sword fighting in some respects. It's been a while, but nothing happened. This is a test of endurance. The one who gives in first loses. A powerful opponent is at hand here. Stand back! This is a duel between man and beast! Uh, okay, then let me cheer you on! You can do it! Yeah! If it's strictly endurance, I'm at a disadvantage. When it loosens its grip for a moment, I'll make my move. Ready? Ready? For what? I don't know! Don't you have to do something after you reel it in? Oh, right! I have the net! Do I have to throw a harpoon? What else do I... Now! Huh? But I'm not ready yet! Can I ask you something? Sure. I think I know what it is. I don't know much about fishing, but I was under the assumption our target was a giant fish. That's what I thought, too. How is this a fish? I don't know. Oh, it's so slimy. Get off me. Accept your defeat with honor and stop squirming. Ow! Ow! The suckers are digging into my leg. Damn this. I'll have to cut through all these arms. Help me out. But, but I can't move. I know. Setsy told me you're supposed to rub salt on octopuses. Do you have enough salt on the ship for this? I don't. Oh, this is too weird. I can't take it anymore. Fine, then I'll do it myself. Ugh, stop pulling on my clothes. Let me go. It feels so, so, so gross. That should be all of it. Thank you. But the octopus itself got away. Such amazing vitality. Well, you should have enough sliced up arms here. Yeah. Why do I have to go through all this just to make some alcohol? I'm sticky everywhere. I need a bath. Let's go back to the port. May I borrow your bath later? Sure.
you're back. How did your family take the news? My sister and dad were prepared for years. But my sister still cried. Bring your family here someday. I have other things I'd like to talk to them about personally. That sounds great. I'm actually here today for something else. It's about Piana. How is she doing? Is she proving too hyper for you? She's no trouble at all. It's like I have a new sister. Wait. You knew Piana snuck onto my ship? Of course. When a child disappears from a village as tiny as this, everyone realizes it right away. Besides, she disappeared the same day you left. I guess everyone would know, huh? Uh, anyway, what should I do about Piana? What do you mean? Do I have to bring her back? I don't know if it's causing anyone concern here because she's gone. As long as you don't mind, it's fine. Or does Piano want to come back? It's not that. She refuses to come back here. She said it's because... Go on. I won't mind. She said she'd be eaten eventually if she stayed at the village. Oh? Is that so? I don't think she's serious. You know how kids always speak their minds and don't really think about it. But it's a fact. Whether she understood the meaning is irrelevant. Aww. No one knows when it may happen. Perhaps ten years. Maybe fifty. So long as she remained here, it was an inevitability. If Gisela didn't come to this village, her life would have been already lost. This might be selfish of me, but can you watch over Piana? I have already lived long enough. I am ready to accept my destiny. But I can't bear to think one so full of life like her will die with me. Even if Piana is spared, you and everyone else will... You can't save everyone. Even if we choose to run away, someone else will take our place. I feel it is all worth it if at least one of us escapes this fate. I don't like it. I understand how you feel. We thought long and hard about it when we were still young. But we must accept this. Is that all you wanted today? Well, um... Hmm? I've been thinking, but what... What if I hunted down that devil myself? Huh? What are you talking about? But, because if I defeat it, no one has to be eaten anymore. It's impossible. Not even your mother could defeat it. I probably can't alone, but I have lots of strong friends to fight with me. It's still impossible. You would be throwing your lives away. Well, you can't say that until we try. Fine, but understand no one knows when it will appear next. It may be ten years, it may be fifty. Are you going to wait here until then? We, we can go to it instead. To that tower. You can't. Why? No one can break the tower's seal from the outside. But there is one exception. So there is a way. How do I do it? You offer a sacrifice. Sacrifice? That means... That's right. Someone must die for you to enter the tower. That's terrible! Who would make such a thing? I don't know. I wasn't the one who made it. Now do you understand? Don't worry about us anymore. Just leave us be. You know I can't do that. 
Some things in life are inevitable. We're done here. I won't give up. I'll think of a way. She's stubborn, just like her mother.